thanks for joining me for another video. I want to teach you about a versatile feature in PDF Element that will reduce the amount of time spent using other methods to edit your PDFs and get them to look the way you want them to. Make sure to visit pdf.wondershare.com right now to download your trial of PDF Element so that you can follow along with my step-by-step -step guide. The PDF, or Portable Document Format, has become the standard for sharing electronic documents between business teams all over. While the PDF format ensures that documents look the same on all devices, it does present challenges when you want to communicate a change or add your thoughts to a particular section of the document. In today's video, I'll show you how PDF Element makes it easy for you to annotate or add notes and comments to your documents. We'll focus on three main areas of annotations, comments, markups, and annotations to text. Here is a PDF report that has been shared with me by a coworker. I have some thoughts on the material in this report that I want to communicate. I'll navigate to the comment tab on the ribbon, which contains my annotation tools, and I'll select note, which is also known as a sticky note. I'll click where I want my note to appear, then start typing. When my reader hovers over this note, he or she will see the content and can double click it to expand the view. I can also click on text box in the comment tab to apply text with a visible box around it. I'll click on my PDF and then double click the box I have created and start typing. I can customize the properties of this box by selecting the annotation and clicking on the wheel to display its properties. The typewriter tool works the same way as the text box tool, but it does not create a visible box around my text. I can use shapes to draw attention to special areas of my document, or use the pencil tool to draw out my shape. An annotation can be added continuously by double-clicking on it, like so. I can also apply comments to each shape by double-clicking it and entering text. Highlighting text helps bring important material to the reader's attention. I'll select the highlight icon on the comment tab and use my cursor to drag it over the text. Be aware that this feature will only work on PDF files that contain editable text. If your file is not editable, you will need to run the Optical Character Recognition function, or OCR, to transform the text and images in your document into those that can be modified. Make sure to check out my videos around OCR for a greater understanding of this concept. I can repeat the same process for Underline and Strikeout, which are found right next to the Highlight button. I can change the look of these annotations by clicking on one and then selecting the wheel to reveal the properties. We've just learned several ways to communicate your comments and thoughts on PDF documents. PDF Elements annotation feature is, by far, your best choice to bring more efficiency to your work or studies. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. And if you did, make sure to share it with someone else who can benefit from PDF Elements' simple and time-saving features. Subscribe to my channel to get the latest videos, and don't forget to like my video.